Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie, and I'm back with another video. Um, all right, so let me just start by saying this. I haven't been made, making as much videos as I've been supposed to be making, but I have to promise y'all, I'm I got y'all with some more videos. Um, for my next video, guys, I do wanna or coming video, I want to introduce you guys to some pole skills. Um, I have been teaching myself since September, and I am learning how to do pole. I'm teaching myself. Like, I've been dancing all and off for a while, but I just started my pole in September. So I definitely want to give you some videos on my progress and talk about that or whatever. And as y'all can see, I took my weave out. Um, it's not for me. The hair was beautiful, but um, it's not for me. Um um okay so before i get into this video i would like to give you guys a little bit of background about myself which i'm not sure if i have given haven't given but um my mom passed away in about two years ago and you know i had to do a lot of healing for myself and i had to do a lot of spiritual journeys losing weight teaching myself pole you know trying to just make more goals for myself doing nails um this is kind of part of the reason why i'm making this video and why i'm leading into this video um today's video is going to be basically um on your journey of healing which is what i'm working on now why it is so important to just stay away from people um on this journey, guys, you are not going to have a lot of friends. You're going to lose a lot of friends, family members, associates, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to start speaking up for yourself. You're going to start feeling more bold about your opinion. You're just going to be ready to put people on the chopping block. And you're just going to start walking in your truth. And you will lose a lot of people along your way. Um, and before, I probably... A little bit before my mom passed away, I was trying to do my own little spiritual growth, but I guess it, it, it made it more detrimental to me once my mom passed away, really important to me, um, really getting it. So I'll like just start from between you, like my mom, when she passed away on forward, um, you know, um, my mom wasn't always as supportive as me as I felt like she needed to be. So even before my mom passed away, I've been kind of like on my own and really having to do a lot of stuff for myself. Like, you know, my mom helped me. She was a good mom. She helped me with clothes on my back. But like paying me attention and knowing me and getting to know me and being that cheerleader for your child, I kind of always had to kind of like do that stuff for myself. But it's like once your mom's gone, and like you don't really you don't really bang with a lot of people. It's like that only little bit of something you had is gone. So now you I mean, some people they have people and that's what's up. But me personally, I don't. I literally am doing everything on my own and for myself. And a lot of people have people and I don't. And honestly, um it, it it's not that hurtful no more. It's actually very empowerful, um, empower, empowering, I'm sorry, when you know that nobody can make a break in, you know, whatever. And it was this lady that, gave, that said a very strong quote to me, and it was like, I am my own savior. Nobody can create your own happiness. Nobody can do it for you. But um, I, I didn't ran my mouth about that maybe for another video, but I'm going to get into why on your self journey is very important for you to kind of stay away from people. As I said before, you're gonna have you're gonna lose a lot of friends. But my number one reason on this list is compassion. You're gonna start basically, you know how you're dating somebody or your girlfriend or whoever, your boyfriend, whatever. You start dating somebody and then you start feeling bad. And then like then they problems become your problems. And um if you're not ready and the person that you're talking to is not up to where you're at. It's no point of you dating them because if they're going to bring you drama, you're going to feel bad for them. You're going to your your problems are going to be their problems, and then you're basically going to feel bad for them, and then you're going to start like taking on to them. Like you know, I'm not in a relationship, but you know, people just want to date me, kind of like date me, but not really necessarily want to be with me or whatever. Just anything, whether it be dating or whatever. And it's like it's important for you to just kind of be like, nah, I'm good. 
Because even, even if you're not dating them and you're not in a serious relationship, once you start having sex with them and y'all you start getting attached to them, you just start feeling bad for them. And then your problems is they problems and you didn't even have no problems to start with. And it's just, it's, it just starts becoming just too much. Um, rule number two, negative energy. You might, all right, I'll use myself for example. I haven't been in no drama in a long time. I can't tell you the last time I've had any drama. I can't tell you the last time I've had anything going on with me bad. You, When you take on people, you don't know what the fuck they bring in your way. You don't know what kind of problems they got, what kind of sorrows they got, and what kind of whatever. And you really just, your whole vibe could be good. You just took on that negative energy. Um, number three, sometimes you can't be yourself. When you're on your spiritual journey and you got a certain mindset and stuff and you are kind of blunt with how you feel, people will start looking at you crazy. People will start being offended by stuff you say or just being like you too extreme or whatever the case may be. They might try to like, you might be on an intellectual wave and they'll try to make you feel dumb because they are offended by your smartness or your knowledge or whatever. And it, it, it becomes a problem, start becoming a problem that you're on a different level than them. So sometimes when you're on your spiritual journey, it's important to fall back from everybody because sometimes you really just can't, they don't appreciate yourself. And I've been through that a lot. Like, They'll do something wrong and they know they're doing wrong and then you're speaking on it and they're looking at you like you're crazy. You're always starting a problem. You're always this. You're always that. Why? Because I won't allow you to do certain stuff to me. I know better. I know what you're doing and I'm speaking on it. Like, child. Um, another reason why it's an important to kind of stay away from a lot of people because people use you for your energy. And what I mean by that is, okay, so now I'm, I'm making dance outfits. You know, I'm doing my thing. And all right, I'll, I'll use I'll use this as an example. I got a particular person who doesn't like me, but then you got you see me with something that you want, so now you speak to me or something like that, and you know you don't you don't bang with me. So it's just like people use you. They see that you got a house, so now they want to come over there, or they see that you're happy, so now they want to be around what you're doing. But they don't be there for the long haul. They just want a scoop of that energy, and it's just. No, it just ain't it. People do not want to be your friend because they like you. They want they see you doing something. You got good pole tricks. You starting to learn how to sew. You starting to lose weight. And people just want to be around you because they see that you're doing your thing. They don't really want to do nothing for you. They're not going to contribute. They're not going to help you. They're not going to keep going to the gym. They're going to give up and you still doing you. And then they'll start making you feel bad because you always going and you keep leaving them. Like, no, you know, if you wanted to go, you would go and you don't. Um, and I think it's haters. People just start hating on you. People just start creating problems with you. People just start just just um just finding any just reason to just try to knock you off your square. Let's say that. Let's say that. And I'll say one, two. All right, six. Um, six reason why. You, um, your journey is important to stay away from people. It's because people can bring you down. Like, for instance, say you've been saving for a car or whatever the case may be. Say you've been saving for a car and then now your friend need to borrow $50 or they in trouble or they this or they that. Now you like, okay, I can spend $50. They in a car accident. But it's like, how many times are you going to keep spending that $50? And how many times are they not going to give it back? And how many times are you just going to keep doing favors for people? And you get exhausted because you just keep helping people with their problems. And nobody's helping you with yours. And you ever notice that? Most of this, most of us people that's in our, our spiritual journey, we're helping a lot of people. But who's helping us? Who's checking on us? Who's making sure we're okay? Um, so I think it's very um, important to like make sure about um, bringing you down. And here's um, another thing. This is going to be kind of on the flip side. But if you are going to be involved with people, find positive friends. Find a friend that does that's not doing the same thing you do. Get some insight from somebody else that's doing something differently. Find somebody that's into their music. Hang out with somebody that's got a passion for something. Find somebody that's pushing. That energy will rub off on you. Negative people that's always talking about stuff they want to do and they're going to keep going to the gym and they never went and they still not going. It's so important in your process. 
you do not need that around you. You you don't need it's going to make you lazy. It's find some positive friends. And your spiritual journey is important to find positive people to be around. And when you're on your positive journey, you're going to start realizing who's fake positive and fake um, um, about this and I'm about that and they don't be, you know what I mean? And you'll even start getting on yourself. Like even myself with the YouTube, I woke up and I had to check myself. Like you keep saying you want this YouTube, but you're making one video a week. So I even had to check myself with that. So, um, get important friends, get some um, positive friends. And here's going to be my other one. I'm going to always tell y'all continue to pray to God, continue to talk to God, get a relationship with God, get a relationship with yourself. We often treat people better than we treat ourselves. We spend more money on other people than we spend on ourselves. And your spiritual journey is very, very, very important to stay away from certain people, y'all. Um, just, just focus on you. If you got to remove, remove, and just do what you got to do. Um, guys, thank you for watching my video. I do not have a lot of subscribers. But I help me get some more. I got y'all some videos. But the ones who have been following me, thank you. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And um, just because my nails is on fleek, I got to show them to you. I did these myself. I am a nail tech. I am learning how to do nails. I am not going to do any tutorials on nails, but I will post some flavors for y'all. I got y'all. But um, this is me and... Um, my links and everything is on the, going to be on my, um, in my, um, in description box. I'm sorry. And, you know, follow me on Instagram and, you know, kind of check me out. Cause I, I post some little bit of videos every once in a while, my poll and, but I'm a gotcha. I'm going to start making some poll videos for y'all. And I got y'all, y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. Keep praying to God. I told y'all y'all protect y'all peace this year. Protect y'all peace next year. Do what y'all got to do. I love you guys, and I'm going to see y'all in another video. Mwah.